Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this new tutorial and the follow-up of what can be done with LaunchPy as an application. Uh, and uh, in this video we will uh, continue what we have uh, started in the previous one, which was extracting information from rule component. And when you extract the information from rule component, um, you can do that by using the LP for LaunchPy uh, method extract settings. And this, as I was demonstrating before, will give you directly the code uh, that has been used as JavaScript. Um, what uh, is important to know, um, what is interesting to know, is that you can also have um, another option that can be used, and which is the save option that actually saves this element. Um, this will save the element uh, or the script directly. And from there, you will be able to uh, run any type of uh, logic that you want to pass to those uh, script to see if they are actually contain some elements or not and, and so on. So I will do that, but I will not do that for my action zero or whatever. I will do that for all of the actions. So what I can do is that I can, uh, as you have probably noticed now, I can do a comprehensive list again and this time I will do uh, LP extract. Remember, if I type uh, tab, you have access to all of the code and extract settings, all, all of the methods, sorry. And then I will say my rule component for rule component in rule component action. If you remember, we have split the different rule component for Rule component that are action, rule component that are condition, rule component that are event. And is this here, I will do save equals true because the default is uh, false. And I will, uh, I will run that. And uh, by this, you will, I mean, let's do rule component action settings to save that in a dimension. I will create in my in my uh, folder here, I will create a different uh, file. Normally, that will be the extract of the code. And let's try that. And you see that it's been ex uh, done in twenty uh, nine milliseconds. And when I'm going here, I see that those new files have been created, and those new files are either um, uh, a JSON or either a JavaScript. And it depends on what exactly your uh, action is. So you can see that this is the Adobe Analytics um, elements and this is the uh, normal uh, core, core custom code function. And then you can actually uh, directly open that. Here I have it, and here you can see all of the different elements that are here. Uh, then I, I will give you, I will, I will slide a bit from LaunchPy and give you a view of how you could use that information. And I create a new folder, which is going to be my uh, rule component. And I will put that here. So I have all my different rule components here. And from there, you can directly see um, that, yeah, obviously there is a naming convention. I could have said that before, that this is a rule component. You have here the name of the rule that is being used. Um, it's an action and it's a analytics and, and the different elements that are uh, done. And from there, I will create a new Jupyter notebook and we create a new, a new notebook and what, what I can do I can look in the file and, and look if there is a specific information that I'm looking for right now it's not very useful because we don't have a lot 
of element as you can see we want to three six seven um, but uh, in the future it could be quite uh, quite interesting if you have hundreds of um, uh, hundred of different uh, root components or thousands of root components as it can happen and then you want to look for specific element and where they are located so we'll do import OS and import RE so OS is for the operating system and RE for a uh, regular expression and then I will create a function that will say search for script or something like this and I will say okay I want to look for a pattern uh, in my different element and for that I will say okay I want to have a dictionary that give me the, the file that have been found uh, found this is a dictionary and you want to have the list of the file that you have and here you are pretty well aware that uh, I'm a big fan of uh, uh, comprehensive list and then you can say I want to have a file for file in OS list here if dot gs in file okay what does this do so if i'm doing this command here and this is the beauty of uh, tricky theory that you can try it you will see that this will give me all of the files that are actually um, retrieved and in the idea uh, that i'm going to show is that you want to look at all of the javascript or uh, custom code javascript that you have set up and you want to look there if there is anything that yeah match a, a certain pattern um, and for that we are going to look uh, in the javascript file and uh, you can uh, uh, see that i'm looking that for that by doing the dot gs so it has to have this dot gs in the string to actually be considered so this will give me the list of the file um, and I can actually do that here now and you see that now it's giving me the JSON and .js uh, element um, then for file in this file I will open each of the file and read it and I will go through each of the line by doing enumerate and if the regular expression uh, that you can use search give me a pattern in my line so this is the index of the line and this is the line itself that's what it's doing then I want to say file found set default so this is making sure to use a dictionary with a, a default status that is a, a, a specific element and in my case I will use uh, a list so it could be a list because you need to consider that it could happen that a certain pattern appear more than once in a file and then I will append when this app when this happened and you know that the file uh, when you read it start at zero and you want to know the line and it's, it will be a a problematic because in your in your file you see that uh, normally if I'm not mistaken uh, it start at one and then you you will have a problem so 
I'm doing this plus one to make sure that I have the correct one. And then I return, I can return private pound. Okay. And obviously I have an error because it's in enumerate. Okay. okay. Let's look for that. And now instead of going directly into this file, what I want to showcase to you is that it actually can work directly uh, there. Just need to make sure I'm using the correct um, data analyst. So I need to go to the data analyst one. And there I'm going to a rule, which is whatever rule, going for an action, let's say tracking function. Do we have something there? Okay, it's exactly what, and we want to look for, yeah, main navigation or something that is coming often. And uh, let's say navigation. And now we're doing this, or let's call this notebook, um, finding elements in rule component. Then what I can do, I can do search for script and I do navigation and hopefully this will return me, okay, actually I have this navigation, it exists and it exists in the following um, elements. It exists in uh, line two, line three, line four, like line 11 and line 18. Do we have it actually here? Line two, line three, line four, Line two, three, and four, 11 and 18, 11 and 18. And this is how you could uh, see that you, you have those elements uh, directly set. If we want to have something like main navigation and not navigation, you can actually have that. And I say I want to have when it's main navigation and navigation is only on, the, on line two. And you don't have twice the line two because whenever it's coming, it's going to find it and append it to line two for the current uh, script. And then if it finds it again, it will also append it to line two. So it's deduplicate automatically. That's why you don't see two, two. So one time here, one time here. Um, you only see when it happens. And though when you have those kind of information, it's uh, um, to find this is very this kind of uh, use case I used quite a lot when I'm uh, I'm doing implementation for large customers uh, because there yeah there is no way you can find where is what uh, in your different uh, script and this will help you identifying where are the different elements you can imagine doing this uh, for all the conditions if you want certain condition to always apply, you can say, okay, I want when the, I find this and, and match the number of conditions that exist and or the number of rules and say, okay, there is uh, more rules than the number of time I, I retrieve this condition script. So there is a problem um, and so on. So you can imagine how powerful that can be. Okay, so that was a bit a, a slide of uh, LaunchPy, how you could use LaunchPy to do this kind of automation. And I think this is a very useful. Let's go back to LaunchPy now. And we have seen that we can retrieve the settings, but you can also extract the attributes. So let's do the same here. With the attribute and the attribute is more or less the same thing that settings, but because settings are within attributes, it gives you even more information like the rule orders, the time out of the rule, the name of this actual um, rule component. If you remember, we have we are now here in um, tracking tracking function. So all of those information are given here. Um, the order is very important because if you ever want to add uh, any uh, anything to your um, uh, rule, you need to select in which order it will apply. Uh, here, this rule component is positioned at number zero. If we get 
given two, it will have been given there. Um, you can do this kind of uh, change. And you have the setting inside. Uh, this is quite useful when you want to have uh, information when you want to create a component and you want to have a template. Um, so those are the way that you could extract information from one component and I think in a meaningful way. Uh, you could also, I believe, save this. Um, remember you do shift tab and you can have the help like the doc string um, and this gives you uh, do you want to save it in a JS file, uh, json file or not so by default it's false um, and so on so you can have this kind of information um, so we have seen how we can get a uh, rule component and now we will see how uh, prop data and analysis we can get the libraries and this is ellipse this is uh, interesting to get because when you will get the libraries you will get all of the libraries so if I'm doing length ellipse I have 27 but not all of them are actually live so yet all of the libraries that have been created um, even the past one and this is what you get when you go to your publishing flow you can imagine that here I have 27 libraries but I also also get the development made so you see the place created the library for the main development and uh, the same you see that uh, there is the name of the library and so on and you see the state so this is also very, something interesting to know if you want to have the current state of your launch uh, container or launch property you can directly retrieve the library and the number of libraries uh, that can be done that can be used i believe make a prop data analyst you can get um up, up, up. environment I mean you get the idea that you get the rule you get the notes uh, you get the extensions and and so forth we already co covered that so I believe we are mostly um, uh, done with it now I will pause now and I will do another video to get more information on how to uh, create information and all the capability of the launch pipe Have a good day.